Welcome to this tutorial from the Sharper Turtle, where we teach you one step at a time how to master your software. In ProPresenter 6, one of the great features we have is called Props, which raises a question, what is a prop? Well, a prop is a bit like a slide. It can contain words, graphics, movies, and motion. But it rests on a very high layer where everything else except for masks will be underneath it. Uh, let me show you a little bit more about it though. Uh, we go to the view menu to get to props and we can click on props in the Windows system control shift P is your hotkey. Now we have a window that shows our props. Now I created one so far and let's create another one. To do that I'm going to go right to the edit menu and it wants to edit the one I have, but we're going to click on the plus button in the lower left corner of the panel, and that will give me a new one. Now it wants to give me, it wants to call it props number two. I don't like that. I want to give it a, a different name, so I'm going to click on the second tab over here from the left and change that to missions. And hit enter, and we'll notice that the slide changes. Now I want to put a, a text in a box. That's all I'm going to do for this prop for now. So I'll click on my text tool. And this is to remind you that when we are showing the editing features, if you don't know what they are and how to use them, we have two tutorials that you can look at that will show you what I'm going to do. I won't describe them here in all detail. But I'm going to edit text and I will say um, Mission Sunday is next Sunday. Okay, so we have that. Now, notice again, because this is a prop layer and it will be on top of everything, the handlebars on my text cover almost the entire screen. And if I were to leave it like this, it would make it almost impossible to see anything that's underneath it. So I need to make this prop smaller hopefully so it won't sit on top of lyrics or anything else. And then just for fun, I'm going to go to uh, use this tool here and I'm going to go to my editing. We'll change the fill color to maybe a kind of a maroon. Close my color picker and we'll drag this over here and we'll stretch it over the words. Then we'll flip foreground, background, there we go. Again, we have lessons on what I just did. So this is a simple prop. And so I'll close my editor. Now I have the one that was here before and this one. Let's assume uh, I want to use a prop. How would I use it? I'm going to close a window. If I want that message about missions next Sunday on slide two, for some strange reason, all I need to do is right click and I'm going to add a queue. We'll go to our queue palette. You can also do Alt-C. And at the very bottom on interactive queues, the third one from the left is prop. And it says I have to drag the queue to the slide. So I'm going to drag this to slide number two and let go. And then it says, oh, you have more than one. Which do you want? Well, I'm going to use the missions one. And click on done. Okay. So now, if I'm going through my presentation, I'm on slide one. I move to slide two and boom, there is my prop. This has no motion, it's pretty simple. But if I go to slide three, oh, the prop remains. Let's suppose I want the, the, the prop to be on slide two and three, but quit by the time it gets to four. If you notice in the Q palette, I have a clear prop icon I'll drag and drop that on slide four. So now if we start all over again, slide one, no prop, slide two, there it is, slide three, there it is, slide four, it's gone. So that's how you turn the prop on and select it and how you turn it off. Props can also have other features to them like motion. Let's, let's put the, another prop on, the one I created I didn't show you how I made, called Time Change. Now we're going to add that to slide 5 and then I'm going to turn it off with my clear prop on slide 6. But Let's go through the sequence again and you'll see how a different kind of prop looks. Slide 1, lyrics, no prop. Slide 2, there it is. 
Slide three, it persists. Slide four, it's gone. Slide five, ah, notice this prop has motion in it. And if you look on our text editing tutorials, you can see how to do that. Then slide six, and that prop is gone. So in these six slides, we use two separate props that we turn off. It's a nice tool. You can do all kinds of creative things with it. We think you'll enjoy it as you learn to master ProPresenter version 6. Thank you so much. We trust you found this teaching and using props within ProPresenter 6 to be useful to you. If it's been helpful, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe to our channel here at The Sharper Turtle. Thank you very much.